McCann Fitzgerald's series of summary briefings is intended specifically for in-house counsel and others whose work involves advising on or applying Irish law. Each video provides a summarised refresher on some fundamental legal rules, updates on new developments and practical guidance on the application of relevant Irish law with a focus on the issues that we see arising most frequently in day-to-day -day practice. This short video focuses on the Regulation of Lobbying Act 2015. Until now, lobbying in Ireland has been unregulated. Since the 1st of September, the Regulation of Lobbying Act 2015 establishes a public register of lobbying. All those who engage in lobbying activities must register and submit details about those activities every four months. The Lobbying Act is about transparency and public scrutiny, so we will all be able to check who is lobbying whom about what. The Act will apply to all those who meet certain criteria. It covers not only paid professional lobbyists, but all organisations with more than 10 employees. It also covers representative and advocacy bodies with at least one employee. Individuals who lobby about certain planning matters will also be lobbyists. The Act covers communications with designated public officials about legislation, public policy or public funds. Elected representatives and most senior public servants are or will soon be designated public officials. If you carry out lobbying activities, you must register on lobbying.ie and submit your first return by the 21st of January 2016. In your return, you must disclose certain information, including what you were lobbying about, what you were trying to achieve, who you lobbied and how often. Failing to register or make inaccurate returns is an offence which could lead to a fine of up to €2,500 or two years imprisonment. It is a defence under the Act to show that reasonable steps were taken to avoid the commission of an offence. An organisation should think about putting measures in place to ensure it complies with the Act so that it can use this defence. These could include adopting a lobbying policy which explains what lobbying is and what staff who come in contact with DPOs should and shouldn't do, training staff on the lobbying policy, setting up internal processes and procedures to identify lobbying activities and to make sure the organisation makes proper returns, and channeling all lobbying activity through a number of designated contact points in the organisation so you can closely manage communications with public officials. Some organisations may take comfort in the fact that the enforcement provisions will not commence until after the Act is reviewed in September 2016. However, they should still take steps now to ensure they can and do comply with the Act. 